Special time. That's oh, what you're you know. I was dreaming of water skiing. Brandon, look hey, at you like a movie star. Why did you get that? Ooh, that, was, that was kindergarten that he grabbed. And he's that right there. Whoa. Afro. <laughs> How about that? What year was that in? That was, uh... Second grade. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't had his first haircut yet. <laughs> all right, uh, those photos remind us it is time for Tales from the Crypt. And uh, we all hold our breath as Brian. No, <laughs> <laughs> no guns or anything like that. No, 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 I actually want to piggyback on something you did on your Audible Coach, and you're talking about coaches misusing uh, their power, abusing their power. So, as you guys know, once I retired from the NFL and, and went semi crazy, I decided to go back to school, finish my education at the University of Texas. And I became uh, the sideline reporter for all the UT football games on the radio broadcast. I also co-hosted a local sports talk show there in Austin, Texas, and I hosted Mac Brown's TV show. And so in, in my capacity, of course, I've got to talk about the games, even though I'm hosting the coach's show and I'm the sideline reporter, and I've got to be honest with my audience. So this is back in 2003, and Oklahoma had just boat raced us uh, again, like 65 to 13. And I commented on it and actually had one of the former coaches at uh, UT long, long time ago. He was there on campus as a defensive line coach, Mike Parker. And we were talking real estate. And just during that conversation, we talked football. And at that time, Oklahoma had a fast-flowing defense. They liked the zone blitz and all that stuff. And I said, Coach Parker, just in your experience, how do you attack that? You know, I, and, you know, I said misdirection plays, quick hidden plays, traps counters, things like that, and he, he agreed with me, and that was just secondary to the conversation, because the, the, uh, the gist of the conversation was about real estate, and so I mentioned this on air, so next thing you know, I get a call, and it's from Bill Little, Bill Little is a longtime sports information director at the University of Texas, he was SID when I played there, he said, well, coach, needs to see you, hmm, now I heard about these little sessions that I, I, I heard co coach like to have with uh, the sideline reporters and different people in the media, so, I, you know, okay. I'm thinking I'm going to show up. It's just going to be me, man, oh, man, with the head coach of the University of Texas. I'll be down. I walk in that office, and it's him, and all his minions are there as well. And I'm just taken aback. I'm looking to, you know, make sure there's no plastic on the floor. And I was just laughing this time. I was like, you know, you know, what could I say that was so bad? And I get in there, and the head coach of this powerful university, this, this storied football program, proceeds to tell me that, uh, uh, you should have said this instead instead of that, and, and this and that. It's like, what are you talking about? You know, I, I've got a fan base, and I have to be honest, and I didn't say anything malicious. One, it's my university. I played there. I left blood, sweat, and tears out there on that field. I love that university. And, and, and for you to come in or ask me to come in here and, and try to force me to toe the company line, I, I was just taken aback by that, and, 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 and I thought it was wrong. So it goes on along with uh, your, your, what you were saying, your thoughts about abuse of power, and it's something that stuck with me, but unfortunately that wasn't the only time. It happened two other, uh, or two other instances as well, so it's just ridiculous that things like, mm -hmm. like that go on, and I think that goes a long way with showing you why there's such a soft football team at the University of Texas currently. <laughs> well, 